What's going on, Fortnite fans? My name's Clumsy No Name, and in this video, we're going to be dropping into Caddy Corners 100 times. Before we get started, yes, this video idea is from Luke the Notable, so go check him out. Without any further ado, let's jump into game number one. I'd like to start this off by saying that some of these early games are literally on the first day of the season, so everyone's tryharding to get their first win. And surprisingly, I managed to kill this guy, but then literally died like right after. Okay, here we are, game two, and I have some grenades. And wow, would you look at that, I found some more grenades. And also, you can see by my gameplay here that for some reason I have really bad frames. I fixed that later on, I don't really know why it was happening, I just had to turn down my settings. And right here I sniped Detective Pikachu in the back of the head. I talked about this phone booth trick in my Rig 100 drops and it still works. And I'm gonna be honest, I don't remember killing the boss, so maybe someone else did, but why did I not grab the charged shotgun, I just grabbed the grenade launcher and left. Doesn't really matter, I died pretty soon after anyway. In game 3 I was just bad, I'm not gonna lie. I don't even know how I got into this situation, but I deserve to die. Also, fun fact that I tested at the beginning of this season. It seemed like aim assist got removed for PC controller. I don't know if it happened for anyone else, but I literally tested it, and with aim assist strength on 0 and 100, there was no difference. So some of my gameplay sucks, and that's why. And the reason I brought that up is because game 6, game 7, and game 8, I all died instantly, pretty much. Before I show you the rest of this game, I'd like to point out that this is one of the games where I did not have aim assist turned on. I think this guy had a plan, but I don't think he executed it quite right. Hey, look at that, I took the shotgun this time, and even got a kill! Honestly, I should've died here, I had such low health. Well, wow, look, a decent game, I had the mythic weapons, mats, ammo, well, besides for my grenade launcher, and actual shield. And eventually I ended up in Misty Meadows in the top three. I'm just not gonna talk. I'm such a bot. Well anyway, soon after that I ended up winning anyway. And in game 10 I killed this YT. And pretty soon after this guy killed me. This does not look like it should have killed me, but okay. Ninja no! Okay, seriously, this recon expert has my full respect. He just 900 IQ'd me by shooting me through that window. <laughs> Game 15, I literally landed and then just dipped out to retail. Well, at least I tried to. I'm just over here trying to kill Pit, and then I realized this guy's shooting at him, so I killed him. And then I died a violent death. Game 17, I was just chilling, and then this guy came up behind me and killed me. It is an actual miracle that I survived here and did not get one shot by Kit. Apparently this whole game is just me supposed to be dying, but I don't. Well, eventually I made my way out of Caddy Corner and ran into- Haha, <laughs> ha, helicopter go burr! Eventually I had to get out of the helicopter, so I just sat in a box. Okay, you gotta give me credit, this charged shotgun still was sort of clean. But eventually it got down to 1v1 and I accidentally shockwaved myself into storm, so yay. Game 19, I got quick. Game 20, I quite literally got old. I think this Bunker Jonesy was just... I, I don't even know. He, he was bad. Oh, stick out of place, bro! Whoa! Haha, <laughs> box time. And once it got down to the top 5, I killed the gray version of Free Guy. I also killed the guy with the drum gun, grapple, and mythic chug jug. Yay! Yeah. There's more than one, there's three, four. Back to our regularly scheduled programming, I died. In game 26, I'm like 95% sure that I might have gotten teamed on because you can hear two sets of footsteps and they don't attack each other, but I don't know. Game 27, I literally just got unlucky and got sandwiched. In game 28, I got eliminated by wet Nutella. I think I bamboozled this guy pretty hard, and I also hit him for 229, so epic. I also probably could have killed this guy, but I literally could not hit a single shot for some reason. I couldn't tell you why. So yeah, um, sad. I'm gonna be honest, there wasn't much interesting about game 30, so... No loser fruit, first ninja, now you! 
Okay, I might have gotten damaged here, but I did get a grenade kill, which is sort of cool. I ended up getting gunned down while rushing someone anyway. Killing people right off the bat in game 33. Hello there. I'm not gonna lie, this game was actually starting to look good, but then I just screwed it all up. I had six kills too, I'm sad. I haven't counted, but I'd be willing to bet at least one-tenth of my deaths are caused by henchmen. Henchmen, okay. Game 35 seemed to be a little glitchy, and all I put in my game catalog was, huh? How? In game 37, I killed this innocent default just trying to break into the prison facility. And eventually I died just trying to escape the cycle. Wah. Game 39, what do you know, I'm a bot still. Game 40, I killed two people off spawn, not gonna lie, it was actually really good. And I literally just didn't kill anyone else, so I just sat in a helicopter. Look at this big brain move, me accidentally flinging myself into storm. I don't know how this happened more than once, but it did, so ha 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 ha, I'm dumb. And because of me being dumb, I lost my health and I ended up dying because of it. Game 41 was the first game I played with my new controller, so I broke it in with a few new kills. Okay, somewhat useful tip, if the circle is like very far away, like on the complete other side of the map from Caddy, you can go to this little whirlpool thing and it helps you get to circle. Ayo, long distance kill. And eventually I ended up fighting the guy with the drum gun and grapple and killed him because I'm an epic gamer. Look, I don't really know if it was the new controller or not, but like, I literally went off this game. And eventually I killed this bot to bring it down to a 1v1. And I won this game with 7 kills. Not gonna lie, that's a pretty good way to break in a new controller. Bada boom! Bada bing! Bro, I just killed Mad Brad 50. Oh my god, whoa. This was a bot, but it still counts as a kill. Haha, ha, Fortnite. And eventually it turned into a 1v1. And I'm gonna be honest, I don't know what happened here. I shockwaved myself off, and then the other guy died of fall damage or something. So, I'll take it. In my catalog, I died to lag and bot. Okay. Game 44, I went up against this guy who found full shield off spawn, so like, literally just GG's, there wasn't much I could do about that. Why yes, I did mean to shoot that shockwave. Yes I did, mm-hmm, definitely didn't think there was an SMG there because I wasn't paying attention. Quick question, how did I build that wall that far away? Am I just magic? Like, what? And that game ended by me getting pooped on. Game 46, I watched an innocent man get killed by a henchman. I also ended up getting this decent shockwave kill, I'm not gonna lie, but it was sort of sloppy, but I'll still take it. And I quite literally did not kill a single other person until I ended up winning this game. Still take it, it just <laughs> literally had two kills. Game 47, I ended up bullying this guy with a pistol until I killed him for a challenge. And then someone killed me, although that probably wasn't for a challenge, it was probably just them playing the game legit. All I have to say for game 48 is nothing chat. I got lasered. SMG go boop! Game 50, halfway done. Get bamboozled, Catalyst. And I think this guy got stuck on a pile of trash, so just step and chat for him. Also, I don't know about you guys, but the new burst this season is actually pretty good. But I won't go too much into detail about that, because I'm dropping the Fortilla 100 times, so you'll see that later. Just because I haven't made it clear, the way that I leave Caddy Corner, I just go towards Circle and run because there's actually no vehicles near Caddy Corner at the moment. Maybe once the cars come out that'll change so it'll be better, but right now you just have to run. LLAMA! Someone wanted part of that llama loot, but you know, I killed him. And eventually I brought it down to 1v1. And to be perfectly honest, I was just bullying this guy. <laughs> But I should have just killed him because he headshot sniped me, so, I mean, that was preventable and was my fault. I'll take it. Game 52, I have no idea what I was doing. Why did I just sit here right in front of his face and let him shoot me? Here, let's watch this footage of two potatoes smashing into each other until one dies. Excuse me, mister, what did you just say? You're grounded from your Xbox! No! And I ended up dying because my guns blinked. So, okay. I might have had three kills before dying, but pretty much all of them were bots, death. Game 56. Game 57's death was pretty preventable, but, you know, I'm a bot. Fun fact, Game 58 is the earliest I died at 98th place. Game 59, I got a sniper off spawn and killed this guy. It was actually decent. And then I got ambushed and ran out of mats and died, haha. -ha. 
And game 60 is one of those games where I got a lot of kills off of spawn. And then I died! In game 61, this man gave his life to me. And then I gave my life to a henchman. Bro, I just got outplayed by Kit. What is this? I literally got outplayed. I'm gonna be honest, in game 63 I got big brained by this guy also, so. And in game 64 my death was preventable yet again, but I'm just dumb and don't build because I'm like, oh, I'll be fine. Excuse me, madam, but I believe those belong to me. I'm gonna be honest, I think I bamboozled this guy. But after I killed him, I proceeded to just hide in the bathroom. And eventually I third party these people and they had the Chug Jug and Mythic Burst, so that's pretty cool, I guess. And I'ma be honest, I really needed that chug jug. And eventually I made my way down to that waterfall whirlpool, and I built a base at the bottom of it. But eventually I got set on fire, so I had to skadoodle skedaddle and get out of there. So I ended up building myself this box on the side of the mountain. And eventually I killed this confused person to bring it down to a 1v1. And I was just waiting until I could drink my chug jug, but then he died of fall damage. I don't know why so many people are just dying to fall damage, but okay. Game 67, I got a kill on this bot. And that was all of the kills I got because then I died for second place. Oh yeah, yeah, epic gaming moments. Game 68 was played in duos and we did so bad that we literally got 51st. In game 69, I found a scar almost right off spawn, so I knew it was going to be a good game. Okay, so right here I ran out of mass and I was just fighting this guy in like an AR battle pretty much. I should not have won. I had way lower health. I didn't have mats, but I, I won anyway because I'm an epic gamer. Later on, I killed this guy trying to escape the wrath of the banana. And later on, I found myself fighting this guy in the storm pretty much, but I killed him because, yeah. And later on, I killed this guy to bring it down to a 1v1. And I ended up shockwaving me and the other guy into the storm, except I had a flopper, so I ended up winning this game. So, yeah. And in game 70, I literally got bamboozled. Like, that was literally just a Fortnite jump scare right there. Just jump out from behind a tree and shoot me. So if you've seen my previous 100 drops, then you'll know that I really like to go out on kill montages on high kill games. Sadly, most of these games didn't have high enough kills, although this one did. So let's do a kill montage. Nothing much happened this game, so I'll just take the time to say this. If you haven't noticed already, a lot of these games I either die pretty soon after landing in Caddy Corner, or I end up winning the game. Barely any middle ground. Like, I barely just live to, like, mid-game and then die, and I don't know why that is. And in game 73, I have zero clue what I was aiming at. Like, what? And in game 74, I died to Kit because I wasn't paying attention to my ammo. Remember to check your ammo, kids. And in game 75, instead of dying to Kit, I died to a henchman. Even worse. In game 76, I tried out that test tourney for LTM tournaments. I did not like it, and I didn't even know that's what it was, because I just saw that there was a live test event going on, so I tried it. It's a controller player! Controller player! Game 78, game 79... On game 80, for some reason, my game glitched and I could literally not exit my inventory, so epic game. These next few games don't have sound, but it's fine. Also, I died this game. In game 82, I was leaving Caddy Corner with 13 chili peppers. And then I literally didn't kill anyone until the top four. And then I killed this John Wick to bring it down to a 1v1. And even though you can't hear it, I won this game in style. Also, yes, Fortnite, I know I'm in self-isolation. That's a good thing. It's not really an insult or an achievement. Game 83, I got pickaxed by a henchman. I can't even be mad. That was honestly sort of funny. Here's game 84. Game 85, I rushed this guy in the trailer and then died. But then look at his inventory here in a second. He literally has... He... He has five guns from that one trailer. Okay, another montage time.
Game 87 is another one of those games where I get bullied by Kit. Game 88 overall was just a weird game. This guy would not stop following me and he killed me, so yeah. And in Game 89, I was a straight bot and got killed by a pistol. In Game 90, this guy surrendered his life to me. And then I got 900 IQ'd through a window again, okay. In Game 91, I sniped this guy. And then soon after, got chased down by Kit, because Kit likes to kill me, apparently. Game 92... Game 93, I died to USSR Potato. Game 94, I just died off spawn because I'm a bot. Game 95, I somehow killed this guy with a flare gun. And then I killed this guy with a tack who had a charge. Which I just realized I haven't really talked about the mythic weapon, like the charged shotgun and a shockwave launcher. At the beginning of the season, I hated the charged shotgun. I did not want to use it at all, but forced myself to. But now that I've used it, I actually quite like it, and I think I like it over the TAC if I have an SMG at least. And the shockwave launcher is just really cool in general, I really like that concept. Anyway, I eventually made it down to those islands by Misty Meadow, and I build fought this guy and won because Epic Games. Oh yeah, also I haven't really talked about the sharks, I don't really like them that much, they're just sort of annoying more than anything. But eventually I ended up dying to the scuba jonesy. It might be game 96, but I'm finally wearing the kit skin. Apparently you get an achievement for landing as kit, which is sort of cool I gotta admit. Although I might have ended up dying to a henchman this game, so that was not embarrassing at all. And here's my first kill as Kit, a cheeky little corner shot. And here's my second death as Kit, a cheeky little harpoon. And I knew game 98 was going to be a good game whenever I found full shield pretty much off spawn. And I got catty corner to myself, so free vault and mythic weapons. And then I went over to Lazy Lake and it was unlooted too, so I literally got all of Caddy's loot and Lazy Lake's loot. And my first kill this game was on a bot. Whoa, look, another bot! And then I found a launch pad on top of this house, so I just took it and left because I had to go to circle. And I ended up trying to fight this guy, but he launch padded away. So I just used my shockwave grenade launcher, because I have that, to get towards him. And then he ran away with a grappler. But then I just followed him to that bridge thing and killed him with my scar, so haha, -ha, get wrecked. And he had so much mythic stuff, so I just ended up taking it and I had pretty much a mythic inventory. And I ended up killing this guy to bring it down to a 1v1. And I'ma be honest, the last guy was a bot, so I just won this game pretty easily. And in game 99, I got third party while trying to kill a henchman. And here we are, game 100. And there you go, that's the last time I killed Kit in this 100 drops. So sad. And that's the last time I'll be opening that bolt. Oh yeah, and then I was just chilling, and this guy harpooned me, and then I accidentally shockwaved him because I thought I had an SMG, but I'm dumb. Like, to be perfectly honest, I shouldn't have won this fight, but I mean, you know, it's fine. And I was just chilling, and then I got sniped. And then I tried to jump him, but missed, so then I used my shockwave launcher, but then he just ran into a room, so that backfired on me. But, in the end, we all have to die eventually, so I died, even though it's sad because it's game 100. So overall, do I recommend Caddy Corner? Yes, I do. It's actually a pretty fun location, and if you can win, then you have some pretty good guns. And actually, the day I'm recording this, the water level has went down again, and has revealed some of the old locations. So, go check out Fortnite, maybe drop here if you want. See you guys in the next video, and peace out.